What is the point of having all of your stuff stuck on your phone? It's time to start sharing. But with an iPhone, it's not always as easy as you would like it to be. So here are some options for sharing your photos with Apple Photos. Sharing your photos, as far as I'm concerned, is an essential part of enjoying your photo and video memories. Why keep all of your memories to yourself? It's time to share or show off. The choice is yours. But what is the best way to share when it comes to the iPhone? And check out my tip on what not to do. Email and text messages. Yes, it's a bit old school, but you can share directly from Apple Photos to an email or a message. To send an email or text message, simply tap share and select mail or mail messages. For mail, you can add a message to the email and for messages, you can even add them to an existing message conversation. Then just send it. Airdrop. If the person or people you want to share with are also Apple users and nearby, you can share via AirDrop. To use AirDrop, just select the photos you want to share, select share and go to AirDrop. The other devices will appear in a list and you can select the devices you want to share the images with. This is also a quick way to share images with your Mac from your phone if you want to avoid having to download them from Apple Photos. Public links. If you want to share a whole album of photos, you can create a public link for a specific album that everyone can then view. To create a public link, just go to the album you want to share and tap share. Select copy link and then you can paste that link into an email, a message, even a social media post if you want to share that much. This is a good option if you want to share photos with a large audience, but it's not a good option if you have any private photos. Shared albums. So far, the options have been a little bit ad hoc, but what if you want to share over a period of time? Well, for this, you have shared albums. You can create a shared album from your Apple Photos app on both your phone and your Mac. Simply create the albums and invite others you would like to have access to your images. To create a shared album, go to the Albums tab and tap the little plus add button. Then tap on new shared album. Give the shared album a name and then tap next. Choose the people to invite from your contacts or enter an email address or an iMessage phone number. Then tap create. And then you just add the photos you want to the album. You can also create shared albums on your Mac through Apple Photos if you want. There are a few drawbacks when it comes to shared albums in that if you want to download the images from your Apple Photos, if the images have been shared with you, you will first have to import the images into your library and then you'll be able to download the images. Also, any keywords or captions you add to your photos that are shared will not be searchable in your friends' libraries, so not very helpful for their own organisation. Shared libraries. A newer one to the shared options for Apple Photos is iCloud Shared Photo Libraries. You can create a shared library which you can share with then up to five other people. So six in total can use one library. However, you are limited to being involved in just one iCloud Shared Photo Library. But any edits, comments or favourites that are made to images are seen by everyone in real time. You still have to add the content to the library like you have to with shared albums so still a little bit of work needed by you to be able to share. What not to do? There is one tempting option that you might not think is a bad idea. WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp is a simple way to share your photos, but there are a couple of things you need to know before you start sharing all of your images there. WhatsApp compresses your images when you send them, so that means it takes out some of the detail and makes them smaller. Okay if you are just sharing phone to phone, but if you ever want to take that image and make it large to pop on your wall, the image might not have enough resolution to look amazing. Also, when you send an image via WhatsApp, it picks up the date you sent the image not the date it was taken. So if that image is then saved to your friend's camera roll, it will be saved with the date that you sent them the photo, not when it was taken. Yep, 
doubly confusing. As long as you know these things, then you are good to share away. I'm just saying. So there you have it, your options for sharing your photos from Apple Photos. Do you know any other great ways to share your photos with Apple Photos? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that you can access through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like and a share? Oh, and why not subscribe? You know you want to. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.